For this, he meant the spirit. Yes. Okay. Now she's even more confused, right? Those who believe in him would later will receive it up to that time. John says that Jesus had not yet been glorified. Fast forward to Acts chapter 2. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. The celebration of the feast of Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit is poured out upon all flesh. This is the gift that's offered the woman at the well. The promise of yes. God. Yes. First, the Samaritan woman didn't fully understand Jesus' meaning about living water. Although they had never met before, Jesus had revealed to her in order to get her attention that she had five husbands and the husband and the man that she was living with now was not her husband. And at that point, she recognized that the one that was before her was no ordinary man. Sir, you must be a prophet. Yes. <laughs> I love this. Angie, years ago, taught me a term that you teach by leading people in guided discovery. It's the best way. Yes. Instead of me telling you, I hope to lead and guide into the truth. Amen. So that you can see it for yes. yourself. And so he's leading her. So gently, so tenderly Amen. to that realization. Sir, you must be a prophet. Well, yeah, you're, you're, you're getting close. <laughs> you see, Messiah is coming. Messiah is coming. And I know that there's going to be a day that he's going to set my life, my life right. Don't we all want that? I mean, aren't you tired of year after year after year hearing those who are in charge who have the power to control the levers of our life say, you know, well, if you vote for me and you put me in office, we're going to take care of the national debt or we're going to deal with uh, the border crisis or, or we're going to take care of the social security or we're going to make sure everybody has insurance and all children have something to eat. And you hear it year after year after year until I don't believe it anymore. How about you? No. So what's our own help? That one day somebody's going to come and make it all right. Amen. Someone's going to make my life better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to come and redeem me. Someone's going to come and make me a better person. Someone's going to come and take me out of this misery of the life that I find myself in. Hallelujah. And Jesus said to her that day, can you, can you feel what she's feeling just for a moment? Yes. Because he said to her that day, woman, the Messiah that you speak of and long for and hope for, I am here. Yes. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. The hope that you long for. Amen. Whatever the doctor says, I don't know if I can do anything yes. else. Mm -hmm. The grace that you're looking for when you messed it up real bad. Yes. And you so desperately want to save face. Hallelujah. But you know that you can't. Hallelujah. Who Glory is the to one God. that brings us redemption? And Jesus says, Thank I, you, Jesus. The only one that can set it all right am here with you. Thank you, Jesus. Now within you, Amen. so that out of you will flow rivers Thank you, Hora, of living water. Okay, I know Thank my you, time Jesus. is done. <coughs> Pastor, do you have a point? Well, I have one. <laughs> Here's my point. My point is a true encounter with Jesus. Yes. 
Listen to me. A true encounter with Jesus. Hallelujah. Will change your life. Yes. Forever. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. It, this is just so powerful. Thank you. Of what happened here. And if you've got a few moments and you want to go to a video series called The Chosen, and you can look up on YouTube where Jesus meets this woman at the well. The segment is seven yes. minutes long. I watch it four or five times a week because it's one of the most powerful segments. And I would encourage you to find that on YouTube. Just type in woman at the well and it'll pop yes. up. Best seven minutes you'll spend the rest of the day looking at that. What did he do? He gave her her life back. Amen. She's forgiven. She's redeemed. She is now restored. Amen. In the words again of my life, she said, he gave her her dignity back. Yes. How wonderful and important. Why? Because this one encounter with Christ not only changed her life, yes. but there's no telling how many lives in her community that this impacted. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know the scripture says that the woman went back into her community so excited that Jesus had the Messiah, had, just imagine for a moment, he's come, my life is different. Mm -hmm. I feel different. I'm yes. not the same person that I was Amen. just minutes ago because yes. I've had an encounter with the Christ, yes. the anointed one, Amen. the only one that can redeem my life. Hallelujah. And it said that she yes. dropped her water jar yes. and she ran. I, I bet she passed the disciples along the way. And they said, I bet that woman's filled with demons or something. Because she's running and she's screaming yes. and she's rejoicing. Amen. Yes. And it said she went into a community and yes. said, come and see a man that told me everything that I had ever yes. done. Yes. This has to be the one the hope of it. Yes. The hope of our people. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus. I so pray we the people of Myrtle Grove Methodist Church here in this building today can just get a glimpse for a moment mm -hmm. of what the Holy Spirit can oh, do yeah. through your Amelia this morning I don't mean to embarrass her and what, but if you didn't notice bless her heart her little hands were just shaking and she came down off the stage she said I haven't done that in years <laughs> but the Holy Spirit Amen. was on her yes and flowed through her yes and it touched our lives Amen. May we, as a church family, we have a wonderful opportunity. Yes. And that wonderful opportunity is, is that there's people out there that haven't heard what you just heard. They don't know what you know. They yes. don't feel what you feel. Yes. They don't sense what you sense when you walk into this building and you yes. go out. Amen. And they're just looking for someone enough to care. Okay. Yesterday, I'm, I'm sorry, would you give me just one more? I need to tell one more little story. Yesterday, it won't take, well, I won't say that. I was going to say it won't take long, but I, I'm not going to lie to you. You will, Pastor. Intentionally. Um, <laughs> yesterday, Angie and I were getting ready to meet Isaac and Lexi and we were going to go out and spend the day together and early in the morning the doorbell rang and someone, I went and opened the door and it was a young lady, our neighbor. Just a few days uh, to before that happened, we looked outside our windows and we saw 
ambulances and a fire truck and police truck. We just wondered what was going on, you know. And I, after it was over with, I, I saw her walking the dog out in the community, and I said, well, you know, Joe, who was her husband, uh, we thought maybe something was happened, but we didn't know. And, and uh, I should have stopped that day. I should have asked. But much like people on the road, to the, the story of the Good Samaritan, I passed by on the other side because mm -hmm. I had other things I needed to do. Well, somehow God worked in her life, who I know is not a believer. Hallelujah. Came and rang our doorbell and, and in tears said, Joe, my husband passed away from an overdose. Mm -hmm. And all Angie and I could do was just love her and hug her. Yeah. But I tell you what, <coughs> there's something within me that knows that God can redeem a life. And I <coughs> promise to her and to my wife and to you that from now on, I'm never going to miss the opportunity <coughs> whenever the Holy Spirit yes. impresses upon me Amen. to stop mm -hmm. and give a witness of my faith. Amen. I'm not Hallelujah. going to do it. And I'm going to do everything I can in the next few weeks, months, and years to show her the love of Christ. Yes. And hopefully she'll come <coughs> to know the, the Lord herself. Hallelujah. That's how we can affect yes. our community. Amen. It's true. Do you see yes. the powerful yes. influence it had on her life? Amen. She can have the same. On yours. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, come into this place this morning. Fill each heart, fill each life. Come, Holy Hallelujah. Spirit. Hallelujah. We who are needy, we who are thirsty, we who are hungry. You said, come and drink and eat and be satisfied. Our souls long for that living water. We thirst, Lord, for something that would just give us some satisfaction in this life and in this world. And we know life can be better. We know our world can be better. We know, Lord, the circumstances of our life could improve. But for many of us, Lord, that's a pipe dream. It's a hope for the future. It's a, well, you know, when I get to heaven or when the Lord comes back, it might get better. But you're Amen. saying that we can be satisfied. Yes. The Holy Spirit can come within us. And Lord, Jesus. We can know that we're redeemed. Yes. We can know that we're forgiven. Yes. We, we can have that joy yes. of our salvation. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, it can make a difference in our life today. Yes. Not tomorrow. Um, not next week. Not yes. when you come back again. But today. And not only can it make a difference in our life. It can change a community. It can change a it can change a family. So Lord, let it begin Thank with you, us Jesus. here. Come, Thank you. Holy Spirit. Fall on each person. And may they Thank come you, to that guided discovery Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy of what Spirit. you can do in their lives as living words. We ask you and the people said, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stand and Jane is going to lead us. The altar have prayer. I'll be glad to pray for you. Let's sing together to God be the glory. Hymn number nine.
powerful, O God. Oh, strength into them, O God. Let us see their power, O God. Hallelujah, whatever they need, O God. Let us see glory, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. appreciation now you think well that's just a pair of socks well if you look closely it's got Alabama on your socks of course they do and so I appreciate my brother Robert thinking of me and uh, with a nice wonderful pair and I hope that encourages the rest of you <laughs> yeah to knock my socks off I like that and I like that wonderful uh, also, the youth will meet today from 3 to 4.30, and uh, we've been meeting with them. Isaac will be here, and we've been meeting in the sanctuary. They've been learning about the church, and today we're going to teach them about the Apostles' Creed, why we say that in church, the Lord's Prayer. And so looking forward to that, and we're going to feed them and send them home to you. Jack them up on Mountain Dew and hot dogs. <laughs> uh, three, three to four thirty. Uh, also, uh, want to remind you uh, that uh, Chris Dates uh, Clary uh, that uh, uh, reception for her and service will be March the twenty sixth. The Methodist men are going to do a fish fry for that. But they've also asking, uh, we'll take care of the food, the fish, and the food like we do on the fish dinners. But we're asking the church family, if you would, to uh, bring a dessert to share with others. And so I can only imagine there's going to be more dessert than we ever could cook fish. <laughs> and that's okay with me. Uh, Brother Jesse, that's all I need to say. What does Brother Jesse bring? Banana pudding. See, I know that. <laughs> Banana pudding. And someone else does a rum cake. <laughs> so I'm just saying, Chuck. No fish fry this Friday. That's correct. Uh, because of, yes, there'll be no fish fry for the public uh, this coming Friday, or, or the last, well, this month, I should say. <laughs> Our fish fry will be for this reception. Okay. Again, thank you. Yes, Janet, quickly. The Last Supper play at 5 o'clock in the chapel tonight. Tonight, Last Supper play, 5 p.m. in the chapel. Chuck. And remember to vote this Tuesday. Remember to vote. Amen. Change your world. All right. Having said that, I'm going to turn my microphone over to Miss Patty Kane who's going to give us the benediction. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent, one from the other. Go in peace, and may the peace and hope of the Lord go with you. Amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Oh guys, happy Sunday! Uy, ano po? 
We gonna leave now. We done our service. And God bless you all. Bye. Happy Sunday and take care and be safe. Bye. Getting big. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Is he hi? Hi. She's so beautiful. Ikaw ang liwanag sa madilim na daan Ikaw ang siyang tandaw sa aking kinabukasan Ikaw ang bumabay sa aming pag-aaral Kahit hirap sa buhay, ikaw ay nakaalala Jesus Christ, love and care ministry Kahit di ka nakikita, I always know your love for me Handang tumulong sa mga nangangilangan Sa iyong gabay, kami ay may natutunan Napakaputi ng inyong mga puso Sa mga tulong nyo, meron yung balik sa dulo Laki ng aming pasasalamat Laging dasalang malayo sa kahirapan Jesus Christ, love and care ministry Napakaputi ng iyong puso sa pagtulong di na huli Sana hindi magbago ang iyong pagkatao Tuloy-tuloy mo lang dahil lahat kami saludo Jesus Christ, love and care ministry Napakaputi ng iyong puso sa pagtulong di na huli Sana hindi magbago ang iyong pagkatao Tuloy-tuloy mo lang dahil lahat kami saludo Sa bawat pag-ising mo pagtulog Sa katauhan namin ikaw ang humubog Mga pangaral at salita mo sa amin ay tumatak Tinurin mo kami sa mundo na isang anak Di mo pinabayaan sa oras ng kahirapan Binusubin may kagutuman na nararanasan Ikaw ang tanging inan namin kaluman Diyos na ang bahalang magbalik sa iyong kabaitan Mga pangaral mo ang nagsilbi sa aming aral Nagbigay lapis at papel gumubuhit na parang anghel Nagpatayo ng simbahan ko sa pwede naming masilungan Maging takuhan ito yung binabalot ng kadiliman Salita ng Panginoon ko nila Jesus Christ, love and care ministry Napakabuti ng iyong puso sa pagtulong di na huli Sana hindi magbago ang iyong pagkatao Tuloy-tuloy mo lang dahil lahat kami saludo Jesus Christ, love and care ministry Napakabuti ng iyong puso sa pagtulong di na huli Sana hindi magbago ang iyong pagkatao Tuloy-tuloy mo lang dahil lahat Lahat kami sa luyo Christ love and care ministry Napakabuti ng iyong puso sa pagtulong di na huli Sana hindi magbago ang iyong pagkatao Tuloy-tuloy mo lang dahil lahat kami sa luyo Jesus Christ love and care ministry Napakabuti ng iyong puso sa pagtulong di na huli Sana hindi magbago ang iyong pagkatao